Backman's rearrangement. The substrate for Backman's rearrangement is obtained on the reaction of ketone with hydroxyl amine. Hydroxyl amine in presence of acid. This water molecule is removed and finally ketoxime is obtained. This is ketone on reaction with hydroxylamine give ketoxy that is oxym derived from the ketone that this is the substrate of Backman's rearrangement this ketoxy on treatment with acid rearrange itself to give an alkyl amide and alkyl amide. This R may be aliphatic, may be aromatic. But important part is this, this nitrogen must be attached to the carbon. So N alkyl amide. So substrate for Backman's rearrangement is ketoxene, reagent is acid and product is N alkyl amide. If acid may be H plus, this acid may be PCL5, okay? Generally, H plus is written, but if question is asked with the help of PCL5, then this reaction is also a Backman's rearrangement. So, substrate ketoxene, reagent, acid, product is an alkyl amide. Mechanism. This ketoxene on treatment with acid. First, Acid base reaction take place this type of compound is formed due to positive charge over this oxygen electron density of this nitrogen shifted towards this oxygen and so this sigma bond breaks and this R migrate from this carbon to nitrogen and this sigma bond is broken. So, R dash C double bond N R and this positive charge. R dash C positive N and this N is attached with the R. This is formed. Later on, this water molecule which is removed from the system will attack over this positive, post this positive carbon loses proton to give R, C, OH, double bond N and R. Double bonding is having OH group. It will get tautomerized to finally give R dash C, O, N, H and R. This ketoxene on treatment with acid first form this compound loses water molecule to give carbocation which is resonance stabilized. Then water attack over this carbocation to form this type of compound which later tautomerized to give final R substituted amide or simply N alkyl amide. Okay? This reaction is called as Backman's rearrangement. If we carefully analyze the living group OH and R are just trans to, trans to each other. That is, if we consider this carbon nitrogen as a double bond, here R dash and this one is R, and this nitrogen is attached with the OH. A proton attack over this OH and water removes. Then this R migrate from this carbon to this nitrogen, and migration of this R from this position to this position occur, and loss of water will take place. And finally, this compound is formed on which water attack to finally give an alkyl amide. So, capsule of this Backman's rearrangement is this part that is anti the alkyl group which is anti the OH will migrate to carbon to nitrogen and this OH will go out. This particular carbon will finally be CO and this nitrogen will attach with the R. 
so this is the basic behind the Batman's rearrangement. Important part is this anti moment that is the alkyl group which are anti to the OH will migrate from this position to this position. No matter this one is alkyl group, no matter this one is aryl group. If it is pH, then pH will pH will move. If it is CS3, then CS3 will move. If it is ethyl, then ethyl will move. No matter it is aryl or alkyl. It is important that anti moment, anti migration will be taken place in the Batman's rearrangement.